Welcome back to Hit Points Gaming. My name is Chris. And I'm Becky. Yes. Uh, today we have something a little different for us, at least. Uh, so we received this Eudexia. Um, it is like um, a puzzle book. Mm -hmm. um, it's really cool. Um, <clears throat> so it's an interactive escape room is what they market it as. Uh, and inside this book, and I don't want to show too much because it is spoilers, um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to solve these different riddles or puzzles inside of this book to progress throughout the puzzles and, and kind of, it's kind of very cool. Um, so the art is just, you're, again, you're in a mat, you're in a mage school, a magic school? I believe, I mean magic school, yeah. Um, and you can play this by yourself, you can play this with other people, her and I play. Um, we try to get a couple minutes in every day, during or after, just after dinner. Uh, and it's made for that. Or they, they even say on the back here is play with your friends, teamed up. You can binge through the escape game in a few hours or enjoy it throughout a few weeks. Get help with built-in hint system or challenge yourself. Pick your own game style and dive into the world of Eudexia. And that's what I'm calling it. Eudexia? Eudexia. Yeah. <laughs> um, so inside this book are 52 different puzzles. Um, and we have, and inside the book too, is there's some stuff in the back, some stuff in the back. I don't know. Cause it's so weird. Um, this is, this is our first time playing it. So I didn't know what to expect in this game. Like I didn't know what to expect. So you may have to go through different things. Um, all right. So what I can show you though is. It's like you're being very, uh, vague here. <laughs> yeah, I am trying not to ruin it for anyone. Um, so you open the book up. Um, it is a really, um, it's just kind of fun. So you get through it. Uh, you have to progress through each puzzle in the game. Every page is different puzzles uh, and it uses your phone. Okay. That's, what's really cool about this too, is it's got a QR code. So every, every page also has a QR code in case you happen to lose your page. You don't have to keep the same page open on your phone. You just would scan the QR code and then you're back on the puzzle you were last left on. There is no like achievements or anything. So there's no way to really track your progress other than inside this book. So again, you're going to start this, this book, scan this, and you're going to get puzzle number zero. Okay. Um, when you solve this on the app, it will give you a word. When you solve this on the, on your phone, the, on, on the app, it's a website. When you solve it on the website, it gives you a word to fill in on these puzzles, these, these keys here. You fill that in, and then these keys up top will then be used in future puzzles, uh, which is really cool. So if you happen to skip or think you're getting, you know, you're getting ahead of the game, you're gonna you're gonna miss out later on. Yeah. Uh, it's also got a built-in hint system, um, so it allows you to get up to two hints, and then the third hint is like, hey, go to the forums and see if anyone else can help you, kind of deal. Um, we're trying to go through the book without using hints. I don't think we have used any hints yet. I think we used one. I think we used the hint after we completed it because we were really lost. Like that's the thing too, is we were really lost in a puzzle for like two or three days. Um, and then for some reason you picked it up and you're like, oh, let's try it. There it is. No, no, no. You were lost on the puzzle for two or three days. And then you finally showed it to me. We're doing this together as a team. Yeah, so that was part of the That was when I got brought in on the team. You started on your own. <laughs> so that's what's kind of cool too, is you don't like, board games and your puzzles how, how are you with puzzles like this I like games. okay so do you like this i do i think it's actually a lot of fun <laughs> okay um because I, I would say otherwise sometimes because you're like oh okay and then you're like just do this and i'm like oh that was a good idea um <clears throat> but it is fun i think it is fun for that reason too is um i try it then she tries it then we try it together and we try to put our heads together to kind of figure it out um this would be really cool if you took on, on vacation yeah. Um, I don't know if I can sit on the plane and do this entirely. I know people can, but I would not. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you can't do this on a plane anyway because you need the internet because you need to reach out to the website to scan the QR code. That's a good point. Right. Unless um, you buy Wi-Fi. Yeah, unless you buy Wi-Fi. Um, so again, the hit system is there. Uh, there was one puzzle where I was very close to the answer and it gave me hint on it without me actually requesting a hint. Um, which was kind of good, but I wish it didn't because I would have, I would have liked to have figured it out myself. And if I needed a hint, I would have placed the, hit the hint button myself. Um, so again, there's 52 puzzles in here. There is a lot of cool stuff. Um, the puzzles themselves range from word. 
Uh, numbers, Image, patterns, patterns, images, yeah, there's mazes, there's all kinds of different yeah, things in here. Some of them are, we can solve within 30 seconds. Uh, there's one with music. Um, that one took a little longer just because you have to listen. Kind of cool. Um, but anyway, Eudexia, the interactive escape room book. I'm enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I think after we beat, after we complete this, um, I talked to Corey and Andrew. They have one too. Um, not this one, but another one. And they kind of gave up halfway through only because they had forgotten about it. So they said they were going to pick that up and maybe we'll get them a copy of this too. Um, so there are other books out there like this, which I'm excited to hear about because this is my first time hearing anything about this and really liking it. Um, so I would recommend checking this out. It's a lot of fun. Um, and it's cool because it's like magic and I don't know. So uh, if you're into these kind of puzzle books, I highly recommend it. If not, I say check this out if you like puzzles. Try it, yeah. Sudoku, would you say Sudoku people might like this too? It's not really Sudoku, but it's got things you have to think about. Yeah, I mean, anything like brain teasers, anything like that. I mean, it really, it just keeps you thinking. Right, and that's the thing too is none of the puzzles tell you what to do. No, which threw me at first and annoyed me at first, but now it's kind of like, oh, okay, wait, now I have to figure it out. So it's a better challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can show you the first one here. Um, yeah, so this one, this here, let me try to make sure you can't see that at all. But that's the puzzle. Figure it out. He's like, what do you do? Because he's like, what do you what do you think it is? I'm like, what do you do? He's like, look at the puzzle. I'm like, look at the puzzle. There's no instructions. It doesn't tell me like I have to find something. And he's like, nope, just gotta figure it out. I'm like, I what? So using the picture is how you solve, you know, that's it's how you solve the puzzle is by using what you see on here. Some of them are a little easier than others, but it's it's fun, it's cool. Um, if you enjoy something like this, recommend picking it up. Uh, and if you have this, let us know in the comments. Um, anyway, anything else to close out? I don't think so. Okay. If you like it, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Check us out in other videos. Um, we do have a bunch of other kid game board games coming up. Um, so looking forward to hear comments about it. And thank you for watching.